Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. Today is a special video, it's uh, October 1st, 2023. This is the next update on the Super Tunias. Um, what's special about this one is, as you can see, they're looking really nice since we cut them back over a month ago now. And they've been growing slower because it's we're in the fall now, not a lot of sunlight, no longer in those high temperatures, but we're still in the mid to high 70s every day, mid 50s every night. And why it's also special is I've never been able to grow super tunias really past like the middle of September because they were typically really diseased and the insects got a hold of them. As you can see, other than a few flowers here that are showing some insect damage right there, which are budworms. So we have some caterpillars in here, not, not a lot. Um, whether or not it's even worth spraying at this point, I don't know, simply because, you know, maybe in another three to four weeks, we're gonna have frost usually, and these are all gonna die anyway but I might give it a go. So I've never had super tunies last this long. And I think that's a testament to both the insect spray, cutting them back and the self watering system. So we'll take you over here now, which these boxes are looking even better. And it's the same thing, lots of flowers. I've been using Bloom Booster rather than just an all-purpose fertilizer. So I'm not trying to push a lot of leggy green growth. I'm trying to boost flower production. And the only way it seems to do that is to use Bloom Booster. I figured there's no point in having these things get gigantic. And even though they are pretty big right now, I mean, if you've seen the other videos, they really go crazy. I mean, you can have, if I were using a regular all-purpose fertilizer, I'd have these flowers probably down to there. You wouldn't be able to see anything on this back porch. Um, so it's more mounding, mount, like a mounding growth. The black cherries here did excellent. Everywhere else they kind of failed. Um, go up here. You can still see tons and tons and tons of growth wants to come back here as well. Uh, and again, cutting them back really, you know, freed up a lot of space. You can see in there more ever since I cut everything back, cut a lot of dead growth away. Don't see any big signs of insects up here right now, but I'm assuming they're there. Always assume that, that's what I've noticed. When it comes to growing something like this, just assume you have insects. So we're getting probably right now three hours of sunlight a day, maybe maybe a little more than that. And gonna have to trim these hedges here because they're blocking the view for these boxes, which I'll go down and show you. Again, never, never ever filmed a video of Super Tunias in October. And it looks like they're just gonna keep going until there's frost. can see these hedges got huge but look at that and by the way there was a there's a there's supposed to be a black cherry and a blue skies super tuny in there and other than a few blue flowers right over there the bubble gums that is one bubble gum it surrounded everything same for this one you can see some black cherry right there, which is why that side is not as nice as this side, but that is one bubble gum as well. And it has taken over the whole box. The lesson learned here is next year, I don't even know if I'm gonna use bubble gums. I've done them three years in a row. Maybe try something else because I'd like to see a lot of these other colors. 
and it's gonna be hard to see them, you know, like these really nice blue skies. It's gonna be hard to see them if these bubble gums just choke everything out. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna try and get a video out again once a week. The reason why in the past I missed is we had a tropical storm come around. Everything got damaged around here. A lot of flowers were knocked off. There was a lot of rain here in North Carolina. Really pleased though to see how these are holding up. Probably will spray these down so we can get rid of some of the caterpillars. And other than that, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.